Hello, and welcome to another episode of Osborne Clark's Food Law series. Today we'll be discussing cheese. Well, actually, we're looking at new proposals in the UK for regulating ads for products that are high in fat, salt or sugar, otherwise known as HFSS. But as we'll explain, these proposals may impact on a surprisingly wide range of products. I'm Nick Johnson, Head of Advertising Law at Osborne Clark, and I'm also here today with Katrina Anderson, one of our food law specialists. In June 2018, the UK government set an objective to halve childhood obesity by 2030 and to, quote, significantly reduce the gap of childhood obesity in deprived areas. According to the statistics, more than one in five children in England is obese or overweight by the time they start primary school, rising to more than a third by the time they leave. Obesity has also been identified as a significant risk factor in relation to COVID. As a consequence, the government has now set out its stall in response to the 2019 consultation on further advertising restrictions for HFSS food, the most high profile of its proposals being a pre-watershed ban. Katrina, could you explain what the government's plans are in relation to ads for HFSS foods? Absolutely. Uh, well, the government has announced that it intends to ban adverts for these um, HFSS foods between 5.30am and 9pm on broadcast television. Interestingly, the same rules are going to apply for video online adverts, so they're also going to be banned during this period. And this is very much in recognition of the fact that children are increasingly consuming their advertising online rather than on traditional TV. Now, both of these proposals were part of Theresa May's government consultation, which Nick alluded to, um, which was in 2019. And that was a consultation on further measures to deal with childhood obesity. However, Boris has decided to go a little bit further and has proposed an additional consultation on a total ban of HFS advertising online. And we're told that we should expect this consultation to be launched imminently. Rather surprisingly, the Prime Minister himself seems to have taken a particularly strong position. After being admitted to hospital with coronavirus, Boris Johnson has pivoted from his previous libertarian stance to a much more interventionist approach. And the approach really is quite unprecedented from an advertising regulation perspective, particularly in relation to online. There's no other product category which is restricted from advertising online on the basis of when the advertising is shown or where restrictions are limited to online video ads as opposed to banner ads or other static media. Since we don't yet have the draft legislation, it's difficult to know how such a ban will work in practice. For instance, how video ads are defined. Is a GIF a video? What about animations? The timing point is interesting as well. Many platforms may not yet offer the functionality to limit the serving of particular ads to defined times of day. Those platforms will need to develop additional functionality to make this possible in a compliant way. It's also going to resurrect some very interesting questions about how a UK regulator, in this case the Advertising Standards Authority, polices the internet, which has essentially a global reach. Generally speaking, the ASA only has jurisdiction over the parts of the internet which target UK consumers, for example, those websites which have a .co.uk address or who show prices in sterling. However, many platforms that are really popular with UK consumers, including children such as YouTube, don't target UK consumers by this definition. So there is a concern here that these online restrictions may be less effective at reducing UK consumers' consumption of HFSS adverts than Boris might like. Yes, the the consultation on extending to a total online ban will be an opportunity for interested parties, including platforms, to raise some of these issues so they can be taken into account by the legislators. Absolutely. The TV watershed ban also raises some very interesting questions about unintended consequences, particularly in relation to um, that cheese that Nick mentioned earlier. By way of background here, the, the current restrictions that we have on HFSS ads are very much about targeting adverts at children. So you can still have HFSS ads. Um, it, but they just have to be targeted at adults in their appeal and also to make sure that the audience is uh, not over 25% um, under 16 year olds. 
the new ban is very much a shift in that approach. So the targeting thing will fall away. It's simply a complete ban during those hours. So products like cheese, which we think of as healthy as part of a, an overall diet suddenly will be subject to a ban um, during quite extended parts of the day whereas previously they would have been able to advertise just simply targeting adults. There are also some interesting questions as to how the restrictions are going to be brought into force. The original consultation suggested this could potentially be done by means of the existing broadcast or BCAP code or alternatively that the government could pass a new regulation. So far, there's been no indication as to which way they'll go on this. This will be an interesting issue for us to monitor because if specific new statutory regulation is introduced, then the sanctions for breach could potentially be serious. Absolutely. In many ways, there are so many issues to watch here and we at Osborne Clark will be doing that and we'll be monitoring those developments and we'll bring you updates through our ongoing food law series.